I'm planning a party after a football game. Now, I know the players are going to be really, really hungry, so I figured out I need about two pies for every three players. But here's the thing, there are 36 players coming. So, how many pies of pizza do I need? Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about proportions, which can help us solve this. We're also going to talk about the other top pre-algebra concepts that you'll see on the ACT. Let's get started talking about a concept you need to review for the math part of the ACT. Now, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, as your teacher probably told you, order of operations. This is not tested directly on the ACT. There's not going to be a PEMDAS question for pre-algebra, but this is going to show up in a lot of questions as you do the questions. You're going to need to make sure that you're doing the order of operations properly. So PEMDAS stands for parentheses, which you'll do first, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and then subtraction. You're going to want to do them in this order. Okay, let me tell you something really important that I see student, students doing a lot. They know PEMDAS and they feel really good about it, they've seen it in their pre-algebra, but they don't use their calculator correctly to help them calculate it. This is an example one of my students just had trouble with. So you had something and she had done this whole complicated algebra problem, she was just about finished. This, what was, this is what was left to calculate. Okay, 12 plus 29 over 132, right? 29 divided by 132. So you know PEMDAS, you know, okay, division would go before addition. So you would do this first and then you would add 12. But when you put it in your calculator, you have to make sure to tell your calculator to do that. What she did was input her numbers just from left to right into her calculator. And she kind of thought her calculator would just know what to do. If you put it into your calculator, your calculator will think, oh, it's 12 plus 29, whatever that is, and all of that divided by 132, which is a completely different number than 12 plus parentheses on your calculator, 29 over 132, signifying to your calculator that that's a separate expression, a separate fraction or division that needs to happen first. So really watch this, you guys. Watch your calculators and think about PEMDAS. All right, let's look at the first pre-algebra concept that you need to know that's actually going to be straightforwardly tested on the ACT. Okay, percents. Students often ask me, you know, I see a whole wordy percent problem. How do I change it into algebra so that I can solve it? You know, you'll see something like, what is 50% or what is 12% of 29? So they got a lot of words there and it's not algebra. It's actually not that difficult as long as you remember these rules. When you see what in a problem, it's going to be your x. When you see is, that's going to be your equal sign in your algebraic equation. And this is key. Of, the word of, always means multiplication. And the word of in any, al in any um, percent problem will always be between the two parts that need to be multiplied. So if you're ever stuck in thinking, what do I need to multiply together here? The word of is going to be between them. Now this probably still sounds kind of confusing, so let's try it on a real problem. If 50% of x is 150, what is 2% of x? So you see we actually have a two-part percent problem here. Let's take it piece by piece. First, we need to find 50% of x. First, we have to find what x is if 50% of x is 150. And next, we have to find out what's 2%.